let's start with a wall or a floor. We're going to build some walls around this floor. And this is in plan view. So we're going to pick the wall tool and choose it. I can hit the tab key to adjust how the wall lines up. And from there, just continue very quickly all the way around. Now, at this moment, let's look at it in plan view. So we've got a, a wall essentially. Now, what we can do is change the size of it by just using an observer here. And uh, I can just type in a different measurement and it'll absolutely adjust on its 171, put it back in there. Another thing we can do with this preliminary wall tool is uh, we can uh, turn on the uh, layers that we want to be using. So we can turn off walls or turn off wall dimensions. Okay, um, I'll get to the point where I'm going to be doing a few other things with it, which includes the notion of healing the joints because architects don't like to see these. So we'll essentially encode, try, hide that little bit and encode, we're going to have to create an edge here, pick it and hide it. Once we've done that, the, uh, the look will be what the architects are wanting. So again, hide this little bit and pick this one little bit in here and do this. Pick it and hide. So that's a manual operation right now, but it will become automatic. Now this do door or wall tool can be done in the isometric parallel or uh, orthogonal doesn't matter whatever view now what we've got is we've got the notion of being able to as we move between the different walls it will select the wall which allows us to uh, know which wall we're going to be working with so we the whole idea here is to pick a wall and now create one and then fix them Okay, that's the whole idea. And then we, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to move this wall, uh, you know, and let it automatically fix itself. Okay, or lengthen it. And uh, we want to be able to uh, use the scale tool as well on fixing it. So moving it to whatever we need to do. Okay, or the push-pull tool, and uh, that will be about it. Now, with this, uh, right-click and then edit wall, and we're going to be able to make changes to the various uh, parts of the wall, including um, outside material, inside material, all that sort of thing. Okay, well, thank you for watching. This is just half a day throwing some code together just to play around and see what where we can go with this. Thank you. Bye now.